Hello everyone, my name is Aditya Gupta. I did my undergraduation and MBBS from Ames, New Delhi. And uh, I secured rank 17 in Ames May 2018 pre-PG examination. And welcome to the Ames May 2018 question paper series. And here I will discuss one or two questions with you. And today I'm going to discuss two questions of uh, two questions today from the subject pathology. And the topic for today that I'm going to discuss is stains, that the stains that are commonly used in pathology. And it's a very important topic as far as postgraduate entrance examination are considered. So let's begin our discussion. So the question that was asked in Ames May 2018 was, Alshin blue, Alshin blue is a dye, and Alshin blue as a dye is used to stain which are the following. And the options were glycogen, collagen, acid mucin, or amyloid. Now, as far as stains are considered, there is no logic to it. Uh, some stains are used to stain certain stuff substances, and we just have to remember the name. It's an extremely important topic as far as PG entrance examination is considered because these stains are commonly used by pathologists and they love to ask the question on what they do using on a daily basis. So answer to this question is extremely simple. Uh, the answer to this question is acid mucin, the option three. And this was not the only question that was asked from uh, stains in Ames May 2018. Another question was also asked and let's discuss that question. Another question that was asked in the Ames May 2018 on the topic stains was that mast cells can be stained using which of the following and the options were PASS, Tulane in Blue, Congo Red and h &E. Again, there's no logic in these questions, you just have to remember these are pure factual questions which are being commonly asked even in Ames because these are the stains that are being used by the pathologist on a daily basis. The answer to this question is Tulane in Blue. Having discussed the two questions that have been asked in Ames May 2018 on stains, now I'll also discuss some other important stains that can be asked in further examination or have already been asked. So let us listen to them carefully. So something which can easily be asked or actually has been asked is fat is stained using which stain? And the answer to that question becomes either oil red o or Sudan black B. Sudan black B or oil red o is used to stain fat. Copper is stained using rhodamine. So for example, if a question is being asked that a person has, let's say, Wilson's disease and the copper in the liver has to be stained and it can be stained using which stain and the answer to that question will become rhodamine stain. Similarly, iron, let's say a person who has hemocidrosis and the iron in the liver has to be stained, then iron can easily be stained using pearls, Prussian, blue. Now calcium is stained using three stains. The three stains that are used to stain calcium are Vonkosa, Alizarin Red, and Calcine. Out of these, Vonkosa is the most commonly used stain, while Alizarin is the most specific stain for calcium. As far as Congo Red as a stain, remember Congo Red is not a substance, Congo Red is a stain. And Congo Red is very important because Congo Red is used to stain amyloid deposits. And amyloid deposits characteristically have an apple green biofringence in polarized microscopy when they are stained with Congo Red. This has been a question which has been asked multiple times that when amyloid deposits are stained with Congo Red, they, de they demonstrate something known as the apple green biofringence under polarized microscopy. Other important stains that can easily be asked are PASS. PASS is used to stain glycogen, the basement membrane and live fungus. Contrast this with Gomori methamine stain, which is considered the best stain for fungus as it is used to stain both dead and alive fungus. And especially it has been asked for pneumocystis because pneumocystis cysts give a characteristic appearance of crushed ping pong ball with Gomori methamine silver stain. Now Mason Fontana can be used to stain melanin in tissues while Mason trichome can be used to stain collagen. And the one more important stain is Bilchowski stain, which can be used to stain neurofibrillary tangles. 
So these are the important stain that you need to remember for an entrance examination, which can be asked, have been asked, and are very high yield stuffs, high yield material for entrance examination. Thank you. I hope you liked the video. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. So please subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a nice day.